What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Fish Again Million. Today we're out here on the beach. We got the Danger Ranger. We got the sun, the waves, the honey. And we have some shrimp, some fish bites. The only thing we don't have right now is patience. So, time. And time. We're running out of time. We don't have that much. It's about 7.51. And we're trying to catch a few right before we cook up some dinner and get started. So we got a full moon right now and a uh, real secret spot we're at. We're right here guys, in case you're wondering. Beach Axis 6, right there. No secrets out here. So it's uh, about to be low tide, which is at 11. Yeah. Low tide at 11, so all right. We'll let you guys know how it goes. Here's the thing today. Anything we catch, we're gonna eat it. So, we catch it, we eat it. Cooking it up. So you guys watch, it's gonna be great. Boom, let's go. Alright guys, beach fishing 101. Hi ma'am, how's it going? It's going very well. Do you know how to maybe help us catch some fish out here today? Let's see, last time I didn't go for <laughs> What are you using? Uh, fish bites, sand flea. Whoa, that's a big rock. Jeez. And this one? Yes. Just gonna toss that out there, huh? Yep. All right, first cast. She's using one of the hand tied Michigan Milligan double rig rigs. And hi, how's it going? Yeah, a lot of people going by. All right, here we go. We're calling it first cast. First gut, guys. Right, right in there is the first gut. If you go past that sandbar. That's the second gut. If you go past that tan bar, that's the third gut, and on and on and on. Looks like a deep gut. Looks like a deep gut. Kind of, kind of flat here. So we're gonna try it out. See if we can't catch, catch one. All right, guys. Something big. She's got it on there. Oh, hopefully not a stingray. Hopefully not a stingray. What is that? Oh, that's fighting good, babe. There you go. Nice. Oh, it's a beautiful picture. What is it? I don't know. Oh, Pompano! Pompano! Nice! <laughs> yes! Yes! It was pulling so, oh, that's a good size, babe! Yes! Oh, that's awesome! Yes! Finally, and we were just talking about why isn't fishing easy? It's so hard. On the sand fleet. On the sand and you said, you said, should I throw past that sandbar? I said, yes. And it was right along the edge. Right along the edge of the sandbar, guys. Woo! Yay! Oh, we're yeah, gonna... We eat it. Sorry, but we're gonna have to eat this guy. They're so good. They're so tasty, guys. Super tasty. Nice, awesome pompano. So you guys, uh, you guys saw the beginning of the video. Whatever we caught, we were gonna cook it up. And sure enough, we caught a pompano, and we gonna cook up the pompano. <laughs> All right, sweet. So today we have a special thing in store, and that is something from the awesome guys over there at Catch Co. We teamed up with Badfish, and they sent some really awesome stuff. This is the Badfish Limited Edition Kitchen Crate. It comes with some really awesome Badfish gloves, 
for filleting that fish. Also a fillet knife. We have the Dexter oyster knife. We also have a three inch Dexter clam knife. And they threw in this dock sauce, which I can't wait to try on some fish tacos. And we also have ourselves a blackened rub from Saskatchewan, eh? And we got some slap your mama sauce. Uh, don't actually slap your mama, guys, because you get in big trouble, trust me. We also got some slap your mama jalapeno pepper sauce. And we got ourselves some Sam Jones barbecue fish out of water seasoning. And they were also thoughtful enough to give you a nice little fishing rag because we all know that when you're doing that whole... That's not a fishing rag, that's a kitchen towel. Kitchen towel, I mean a kitchen towel. We all know that when you're doing that bad cooking stuff, you gotta be cleaning up like so. You guys, be sure to check out this awesome box from Catch Co. Go over there to shopcarls.com, look it up, and you guys will have everything you need to cook up a good fishing meal. All right, guys, here we are at Casa de Fishigan Milligan. We're gonna be cooking up this Florida pompano, one of the best tasting fish that you can find in our uh, beach waters. We're gonna be using this limited edition kitchen crate from Bad Fish and they have everything in this crate that you need. So be sure to go over to Shop Carl's and check it out. Uh, I'm gonna be using these gloves today. All right, so here we go. We got our gloves, and we're gonna be using this filet knife. You're so expert. So we're gonna be taking this pompano and we're gonna be slitting its belly right here. Gonna be going down the belly line. We're just going to be taking out, taking out the guts. So it's very interesting because you can always see what they eat. So we're going to be taking this out. Uh oh, be surprised. Okay. So there's a little bloodline in here. Make sure you guys pop that. And get all that blood out like so. So we have the fish cleaned out, gutted, rinsed, very nice. Now we're gonna go ahead and take this butter. This is Kerrygold Pure Irish Butter. It's Irish, show oh. The Irish, the luck of the Irish. And we're gonna be getting a nice little knob oh yeah and we're gonna be putting that inside the fish like that and this pompano is so good that you got to use all the meat you can't be sacrificing any part of the meat at all so we're putting the butter in there like that and then we're gonna take some onion go ahead and put those inside the fish Now here's the other thing is you want to score uh, the fish so you're just going to cut inside and just cut down like so and then you cut across and this is really good because we're going to put some butter on top and that's going to sit on top and get real good down into the skin and then we are good we have the oven at what is it babe 325 325 and uh, I think we're gonna throw some lemon or lime put down in the comments below lemon or lime what do you think all right so we're gonna put our pompano on the foil and we're gonna be using some of this salt from the kitchen crate. So we're gonna sprinkle some salt all around this fish. A little bit of this slap your mama Cajun seasoning. Uh, don't actually slap your mama cause she, she probably get mad. I never slap my mama. Uh, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way, guys, so you don't have to do a ton. Okay, guys, my wife is the best. She had the lime, 
So we're going to be using this lime inside the fish and also on top. My butter kind of fell off. Mm, it smells good. So, Limes. Yes. You put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. You put the lime in the... Okay, folks, now what we're going to do is wrap it up. And you want to make sure you wrap it up good and tight. I usually like to make like a little seam right here. Cinch it good like that. And then a little seam and kind of fold it. Because you want that to bake really nice. And keep all the juices together. So we just have a normal cookie sheet. Foil right there. Now we're going to drop it in the oven. 325 for a certain amount of minutes. I don't know. Oh, it'll probably take like 15, 20 minutes. Probably 15 to 20 minutes. If it's less or more, don't shoot me. Play it by ear. Play it by ear. The oven is sizzling. You can see me. Oh. I'm just about to pull it out. One of the steps I didn't tell you about is that I let it go for about 20 minutes and then I uncovered it and then I put it back in again. Let's check it out. You can't leave it on bro too long. It's gonna burn. Ooh! Cheers! I've been with like she. Well, hot diggity dog. That looks pretty good. <laughs> you said someone don't be drinking, so I tried to get it. Shameful plug. Thank you so much, Bad Fish and Catch Co. for making this video possible. If you guys haven't checked them out, go to Shop Carl's. You guys can get a 30-day risk-free trial, and uh, you never know. You might like it. You might love it. All right, let's delve into this and eat some of this bad boy. I want you guys to get down and dirty. Look at this right here. Coming out. Oh, flaky. But first, we have the dock sauce. And we also have this slap your mama jalapeno sauce. And then, of course, you got your old faithful Louisiana tartar sauce. So, and this is my cup. You guys like it? I'm just kidding. That's my wife's. Okay. Buttery, flaky, crispy. Buttery, flaky, crispy. If you haven't watched that video, go watch it. <laughs> go watch it, guys. It's hilarious. Oh my goodness. This looks so good. Okay. Alright, so we're going to do dock sauce on one little spot. We're going to do Louisiana on one spot. If I can open it. Mm -hmm. So I got the tartar sauce. You said it's our house, babe. You didn't say it's my house. You said it's our house. Okay. So, look at that. That looks amazing. So, let's try it off by itself. Like thank this. you, Jesus, for this food. Oh, excuse me. Thank you, Lord, for this food. Thank you for this pump, though. And thank you for an awesome wife who knows how to catch fish, because sometimes I can't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Hands down, best tasting fish. Yep. Do you get a little crab vibe? It's a little crabby. It's a little crabby. Maybe he was angry. Maybe he was. Well, they eat crab, so. Yeah. It's a very dense, thick, flaky fish. I like it. Uh, let's try it on the dock sauce. Mmm, -hmm. that's good. I like that. I bet you that mixed with tartar sauce would be really good. Mm hmm. I'd like to try it on some shrimp. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Jalapeno pepper. Ooh, that's spicy. <laughs> I like it though. And then, of course, Old Faithful tartar sauce. Guys, go to the beach, try out some of those pompano rigs, and get yourself a pompano. It's super good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe, like, comment. We'll see you next time. Uh, sign up for the Patreon if you want to see him eat the eyeball. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm.